Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain how to create chia plots using the command line in Terminal on macOS. First, before starting, we need to add the path to the chia executable to the macOS path environment variable. This is done using a file called .zshrc. This file doesn't exist by default on macOS, so we need to create it. Open a terminal window and then type touch space dot zshrc and press enter. This will create the file that we need. You can check that it's been created by clicking go in the finder menu and then clicking home to go to your home folder. Then hold down the shift and command keys and press period to show hidden files. You should see that a file called dot zshrc has appeared in your home folder. To edit the file, I'm going to use a text editor for Terminal called Nano. Switch back to the terminal and type nano space dot zshrc. This will open the Nano text editor. Now type export space path in uppercase equals quotation mark dollar sign path colon forward slash applications forward slash chia dot app forward slash contents forward slash resources, forward slash app dot asar dot unpacked, forward slash daemon. To make it a bit easier, I'll put this line down in the video description so that you can just copy and paste it. Now press Ctrl and O to bring up the save dialog, leave the file name as it is and hit enter to save the file. Now we can just quit Nano with Ctrl and X. For the changes to take effect, you need to quit terminal with Command and Q and then open a new terminal window. Now to start plotting in terminal, I'm going to type chia plots create hyphen n1 hyphen k32 hyphen r4 hyphen b6000 hyphen t followed by the path to my external SSD hyphen d and then the path to the drive used for farming. Here's an explanation of each of the parameters. First, the number following hyphen n is the number of plots I want to create. In this case, 1. If you wanted to create two plots in parallel, you'd use hyphen n2. Hyphen k is the size of the plot. In this example, I'm creating a k32 size plot, which is the recommended size at the moment for chia plots. But if you wanted to create a k33 plot instead, you'd just use hyphen k33. Next, I have hyphen r4. This tells the plotter how many CPU threads to use. Here I'm telling it to use four CPU threads. The number after hyphen B specifies the amount of RAM you want to use for the buffer. Here I've used 6000 megabytes or about 6.3 gigabytes of RAM for the buffer. Then hyphen T is the temporary plotting directory, usually your external SSD. And then hyphen D is the final destination folder where the plots will be located for farming. Press enter and the plotting process will begin. Providing you have enough space on your SSD, you can start plotting another plot before the first one is finished, just by opening another terminal window. Here I'm creating a second plotting process using two threads this time. With the two plotting processes running simultaneously, CPU usage on my M1 MacBook Air is hovering between about 5 and 10%. Looking at the core utilization, the first process is using the four performance cores 5 through 8, and the second two core processes only using cores 5 and 6. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.